if i don't do l1 dot ip address is not equal to l2 dot ip address if you just do simply on account id what it will have it will have unnecessary rows hey guys welcome back to our channel this channel every data science is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions this video is in continuation of the advanced equal 50 series where we are trying to solve 50 advanced equal problems and topics like select basic joins basic aggregate functions sorting and grouping advanced select and join sub queries and advanced topics like window functions and common table expressions in this video we are going to solve this question called Leadflex Bank Accounts and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is the 35th video of the series called Leadflex Bank Accounts. And if I look at the companies, this question has been asked is audible. Let's look at what the question has to say. We are given a table called login for four different columns, account ID, IP address, login and logout. This table may contain duplicate rows. The table contains information about the login and logout dates of the Leadflex accounts. It also contains the IP address from which the account was logged in and logged out. It is guaranteed that the logout time is after the login date. We are asked to write a solution to find the account ID of account that should be banned from Leadflex. An account should be banned if it was logged in at some moment from two different IP addresses. Order of the result does not matter. Okay, let's go through this example. So here we have records of four different account IDs and different IP addresses and when did they log in and log out and we need to find out all those accounts who were actually logged in at the same time from two or more different IP addresses and that are the accounts that needs to be banned. So just look at it, right? So let's look for account id 1 and 2 and we can extend it to 3 and 4 as well but if i look at account id 1 on 1st of february 2021 between 9 am and 9 30 this person was active from ip address 1 and on the same date between 8 am and 11 30 am this person was logged in from ip address 2 as well so basically this person logged in at 8 am from ip address 2 and then at 9 am from another ip address and then logged out and then finally logged out from the ip address 2 at 11 30 so basically during the duration 9 am to 9 30 the person was logged in from both ip address 1 and 2 so obviously one is something that needs to be banned but you look at account id 2 even though they look exactly the same but the dates are different if you cl pay close attention this is 1st of february and this is 2nd of february so during the same time the person was not logged in from two different ip addresses even though the next day the person logged in from the different ip address so two should not be in the output similarly for three and four so that is what we have in our output so to solve this question what we need to do is firstly for every account id we need to compare okay what all different ip addresses the person has logged in from and whether the login time of one coincided or is in between the login and logout time of the other so to better explain this what we can do is let's move to the excel sheet and let me just take the account id one and two column and see how can we solve this so if we take this login for table and create another version of it so let's say this is l1 and this is l2 and let's say the we perform a inner join of these two based on account id is equal to account id but your ip address is not equal to ip address why because we need to make sure that okay this but a particular account id as the person logged in from another ip address so what we can do is let's try to join this so what i'm doing is from this table called log info alias as l1 let me inner join the log info table this time aliased as l2 what this is called this is called self join on l1 dot account id is equal to l2 dot account id uh, let me just drag it to the left so that okay uh, l2 dot account id and then and l1 dot ip address is not equal to l2 dot ip address just so that you know so if i go here right so if i don't do l1 dot ip address is not equal to l2 dot ip address if you just do simply on account id what it will have it will have unnecessary rows why because it will try to find okay account id one here it will find two different matches but you this row is exactly same as this row and you do not need to compare a row with itself right so that is why i'm doing account id is equal to one but ip address one is not equal to ip address of one in this particular row so this row will be ignored but this will be kept similarly for this it will compare and try to keep this row so once you have this this is what the table you will have okay so now once we have this then we need to check that okay whether the login of the person from ip address 1 is between the login and logout of the 
IP address second one similarly for this and why do we need to have so here if you look at it right so here we are basically doing a comparison twice but firstly we are comparing ip address one with two and then two with one person is already logged in ip address two between 8 and 11 30 and from ip address one the person logged in between 9 and 9 30 but in some cases it can be reversed right so we need to check both the cases so we are only after performing this join we are only interested in those rows where your login is between login or logout or your logout is between login and logout okay so what we can do is keep only those rows where l1 dot login is between l2 dot login and l2 dot logout whether this one or same stuff but we need to compare the logout part okay so or l1 dot logout is between l2 dot login and logout okay so once we have this so for example in this case right so here is this between this yes so this entire row will be kept so let me just highlight it uh, with green let's say okay will this be kept 8 is not between 9 and 9 30 and 11 30 is again not between 9 and 30 so it won't be kept similarly this these two are two different things so the only rows in this is going to be kept is this one okay once we have this then similarly we will be having for 3 and 4 as well then what we need to do is we basically need to return the distinct account ids so what we can do is simply write is return distinct l1 dot account id okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit this to pass all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how to do it so yeah somewhat tricky question but what we had to do is we can you know self join a table on it itself so that we are able to compare for a particular account id if the person has logged in on two or more different ip addresses whether the login and logout times are coinciding or is one is between the other so once we have that then we only kept those certain rows and then we return the distinct account id so this is how we do it let me know if there's a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video